So whether we're creating content, working from home, teaching, gaming, it's really difficult to have a quiet room to go ahead and make content in. And so NVIDIA has actually created NVIDIA Broadcast, which is a great solution for helping reduce or eliminate room noise. Could be from air conditioners, maybe your computer, maybe other people in the background having conversations. It's a pretty amazing tool, and it also has options for video background replacement and adjustment. So today I'm going to go through the latest version of NVIDIA Broadcast that's just been released. It just might be a good solution for you. Let's take a look. NVIDIA Broadcast is an AI-powered tool that helps reduce noise in audio as well as adjust the video effects for your camera. It can really make the difference between a high-quality looking result and one that has a lot of interference and distracting noise. So let's take a look at the install and then we'll go through the features. Okay, so here we are on the NVIDIA Broadcast web page. And one of the great things about this app is that it is real time. This is not a post production filter that's only suitable if we're editing recorded video. This is for live use. So it doesn't matter whether you're recording with OBS, you're on a Zoom call, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, any platform you like. This will give you the opportunity to improve your audio and video. So in here, we have NVIDIA Broadcast. There's certainly a download that's on the front page. Also, we have uh, some information broadcast in action. There's some other videos you can check out here. Bit of a preview of what the uh, interface looks like. So again, microphone, speakers allowing us to actually correct the audio that's coming into our computer from others, and also camera options. So we can have virtual background, which I mean, this is something we see uh, individual settings within some of the various video conferencing apps. But here we have the option to do this in any application. So whether it's video conferencing or it's making a recording of our own, we can use NVIDIA Broadcast to do this. We can also use it for just simple background removal. And uh, we also have the auto frame function, which is kind of neat. It looks like uh, cameras following you around, which a little more uh, sometimes a professional looking effect that we sometimes uh, get, you know, when we have a camera operator, but most of us don't have that luxury. So kind of a neat effect to uh, add. Also some video noise removal. Uh, certainly it can be challenging when we have low light and maybe we're using a fairly inexpensive webcam, so it can help to clean that noise up. And that's one of the newest features, like I say, in the latest version. Uh, so absolutely, we're going to take a look at that. And so uh, what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and we're going to download NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'm going to click on Download, simply go ahead and save the file. So now that the uh, download's complete, I'm going to go ahead and launch the installer. And uh, we'll just give it permission, and it's going to go ahead and open up the install program. I'm going to first go ahead and check the system compatibility here as a license agreement, so we'll agree to that. And we can either have an express installation, so upgrades an existing application, retains current broadcast settings, or custom, which lets us go ahead and choose what we want to do. We're just going to go ahead and choose the express installation here. So I'll go next. And it's going to go ahead and do the install. There are also some downloaded components here. So we'll go ahead and I'll uh, fast forward through this so you don't have to watch the uh, download. Now the download is uh, finished and the installer is uh, gone ahead and installed the program on the computer. So we can just click close. And uh, very simple, it's now going to start up NVIDIA Broadcast. So we'll let it uh, go ahead and run for the first time. And uh, we see the interface uh, has popped up on screen. Okay, so now I've turned off all processing on my mic. I've uh, cranked up my computer fans to full. I've got the AC running uh, as much noise as I can. And on top of it, I'm going to add a white noise generator in the background. And so you can see we're getting a lot of noise coming through. Definitely not an ideal situation. And now we'll go ahead and switch over to NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal. So now I've turned on NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal. And as you can see, we're getting a reduction in the amount of noise from my computer fans and AC, and you can't really hear the white noise at all coming through the system. And this is even at a low setting with NVIDIA Broadcast. I can turn this up and get more noise, but I found generally I don't have to get too much more than about 25% to get rid of all that noise in the background. I'll be silent now for a minute so you can hear.
And I think this is really acceptable audio for a room that has a lot of noise going on in it now. Let me know what you think in the comments. So another new function that's been added to the NVIDIA Broadcast microphone noise removal is this room echo removal. And this is the idea here is that if you have a room that has, uh, you know, a lot of hard surfaces and the audio bounces around, you're going to uh, end up getting echo. And so this is uh, supposed to get rid of it for you. So let's uh, go ahead and try that out. So now I've gone ahead and switched on the echo cancellation. And again, tell me if you can hear a difference in the room echo from before to after. I think it does clean it up a little bit. Nothing is going to be ideal in this situation, but again, compared to having to have a specially treated sound booth, this could be a great option. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, consider smashing the like button or subscribing to the channel. It'll let you know when I have new content coming out, and it helps me understand the types of content you'd like to see. Now let's get back to NVIDIA Broadcast. And so now I'm back on noise removal. And what I'm going to do is also add an effect because again, new to NVIDIA Broadcast is the ability to have more than one effect. So now I have the room echo added. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And now again, you tell me in the comments if there's less echo and noise reduction. I think again, this is perfectly acceptable audio for a room that has a lot of noise going on in it at the moment. Far more than what I would usually have when I'm making a recording. And again, I've tried to create a worst case scenario here with far more noise going on in the room than you normally would have. And I mean, that's really what we're looking for here. We're trying to clean up the background noise that's distracting. Perfection is not something we can have without a dedicated vocal booth. But really, for home recording, NVIDIA Broadcast seems to be doing a pretty good job. So now that we've had a look at the microphone noise reduction, let's move on to the next section, which is speaker noise removal. So I won't be able to do a sound demonstration of the speaker reduction, but the idea of this section is that if you have someone on a call with you and they have noise in the background for whatever reason, again, could be uh, people running through the background talking, could be air conditioning noise, anything. The idea here is you can eliminate that noise so it's not distracting for you. And so again, you simply choose the output, the speakers that you want to use, and then you have a choice of, again, the noise removal or the room echo removal. And again, you can do both of them to give you that additional uh, help with your audio. So again, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate this live without coloration from recording speakers through a microphone, uh, but it has really the same type of effect. I normally recommend you leave this off unless you're on a video conference that has annoying background noise. This isn't really meant if you want to filter sound that's coming through your computer, like game sounds in the background. This is really all about video conferencing. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the features in the NVIDIA Broadcast Camera app. And uh, I've just put it up in the corner of the screen and uh, hopefully have enough image that you can see the difference. So the first effect we have is a background blur. And, you know, a lot of times if you have an expensive mirrorless camera with the right lens, you can get that nice bokeh effect. But the idea here is to give you a similar thing. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And uh, you'll see just, I'll go ahead and increase the background blur. And uh, just watch the background behind me, and uh, you can see that it's getting uh, fuzzier and fuzzier. And so you decide kind of what, you know, what's a reasonable amount to have. And uh, it gives you an option of performance versus quality. And this is really about CPU usage. So if you have a powerful enough computer, you can go ahead and use the quality mode. Shouldn't have any issue. Uh, depending to if you're trying to game on a PC at the same time as using this, performance is probably your best option because it does uh, use up a fair number of compute cycles. So uh, again, that's the background blur. Uh, we also have the idea of replacing a background. So this is something many of you be familiar with, uh, features in Zoom, for example. But here we can use whatever background we like and with any program that we want to. And that's really what's kind of nice about this. Now you can see again the job it does. Here I have it in performance mode. I uh, will click it over to quality and see if that makes any difference. Again, it's having a little trouble with the headrest on the back of my chair. That's kind of to be expected. I put my hand up, uh, we'll see just how much it's bleeding through. It's doing actually a pretty pretty good job of that. Uh, but, you know, if you don't have the space or want to have a green screen around, that's uh, this is not a bad uh, use case. And uh, then I'll hop over to background removal. And this works much the same way. Here I don't have anything in the background, uh, but I can go ahead then and just add myself into a video shot. 
and uh, get and put myself essentially against the background of moving video like a game or something that's playing there so uh, the idea here or if you just want to have a plain background behind you you can go ahead and do this sort of thing too um we also have auto frame this is that feature again where the camera can follow you and i'll just kind of lean side to side here and we'll see as i do that the camera will reframe to uh to meet where i am uh, again it's kind of a neat feature if you want to take a look at it and make it kind of into something that's maybe uh, more like having a, an active camera person um and have some applications perhaps also if you're doing uh perhaps a stand-up segment and uh, you have have a table in front of you and you're moving around a little bit across the table this is a good way to keep yourself center in the uh, shot and uh, there's also a video noise removal function and uh, what this does essentially is it goes ahead and removes the graininess that we get sometimes in the background areas so uh, again this is a feature that could be useful uh, i'm uh, shooting in 4k right now and uh, the noise removal as it appears here only works in uh, 1080p so uh, again, this is something you can uh, you can try out. Uh, the idea again, it does use some CPU uh, certainly cycles, but uh, will reduce the graininess, especially if you're shooting in a dark room. So the latest version of Nvidia Broadcast adds a lot of features from the beta versions we've been looking at over the last number of months. This could be a good option for you. I will note that this works with Windows 10, so this is a Windows only option. And also in the latest version of release, it's saying that we require an RTX 20 or 30 series card. And this is a departure from the last version where support for GTX 10 series cards uh, was indicated. I'm not sure if this is just an omission or if in fact support for the 10 series has been dropped. Uh, so if you have a 10 series and you've tried out the new version of broadcast, please leave a note in the comments so uh, that everyone can know whether or not this is a, an option at this point for uh, the 10 series. With video production and content creation leveling up, the video broadcast can be a great tool to help you improve the quality of your audio and video. So I encourage you to check it out. Now I make these videos to help out content creators with the problems we all face. So I hope you're enjoying them. And if you are, consider smashing the like button or subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Check out some of the videos that are on the screen and take care. Bye for now.